Hello YouTube and welcome back to another tutorial. So happy solar eclipse day if you are in the US. Um, this was nicknamed the Great American Eclipse and uh, it was also the release of Android Oreo. So if you want to get that on one of your compatible devices, follow this tutorial as it's not too difficult but you're going to need a few things ahead of time. Um, I, you're going to need the platform tools which I will link um, how to get them. Uh, there's a link here in the directions on uh, where you can download just the platform tools if you don't have Android Studio. If you have Android Studio already then you already have the platform tools. You just want to make sure you navigate to where your SDK is installed. Here it is where it's installed on my computer and uh, you want to make sure you have at least two things. So you're going to need ADB and Fastboot. Um, Fastboot, you'll need to unlock the bootloader if you haven't already done so. Uh, I just completed doing that on my phone, trying to uh, save some time. So uh, what I do to kind of uh, shorten the time to get here is um, once I find the SDK, I go up here to uh, the address bar and I say copy as text. And it will start a new command prompt. So I'll type in CD, which stands for Change Directory, and I'll copy that text and paste it there. And then from here, um, you can execute the ADB commands and the fast boot commands. So first one you're going to want to do is ADB reboot bootloader. And what that will do is actually put your um, phone in the correct state for um, unlocking the bootloader if you haven't already done so. So once you your computer your phone reboots, it'll be very quick. It'll go right to the bootloader and then your the next command you're gonna type in is fast boot sorry. I always get this mixed up because it's changed uh, from the last few years. Um, you're gonna want to type in fast boot flashing unlock if you have a Nexus 5X or 6P um, or newer and if you have an older device it's fast boot OEM unlock um, but if you're if you're following this tutorial on how to flash this image you're gonna want to do this one because I don't think anything older is supported on Android Oreo so fast boot flashing unlock and then your a screen will show up on your phone where you just hit yes and that will unlock your bootloader. Note that it will wipe your device. So unfortunately this whole process wipes your device uh, so if you wanted to keep your information on your phone um, just wait for the over the air update. So okay so once we have that uh, we're gonna need to then uh, navigate to where we have um, our download. So Next you're going to want to do is download your system image and unzip the file. So when I go here I have, here's uh, the file that I have for my Nexus 6P and it is unzipped and you'll notice that there's all these um, files here and since I'm on Windows this is the one that I'm going to want to uh, use. So I need to navigate to this folder so I'm going to copy the address. start a new command prompt since that's not working. Alrighty, so there we go. And then what we're gonna want to do is execute this flash all that the dot bat file. Okay, so I actually had a typo in my uh, environment variables. So probably the easiest way to do it is actually to edit it and uh, go to the actual directory. So you can click on um, here and navigate to the actual directory of uh, 
your SDK. So here, SDK, and then we want to click on platform tools. So let's save that. Now let's try it. Yay, there we go. So now um, this is going to take a while. So, okay. So um, our system image has uh, successfully finished and it took uh, me 91 seconds or almost 92 seconds on this computer and uh, phone. So once I hit any key, that's going to get out of there. And then now the phone is going to reboot into Android Auto. And I uh, hope you found this tutorial helpful. Hope you learned something new as I did because I haven't done this on a Windows computer in quite a while. So um, let me know what you thought of the tutorial and uh, have a good day.